Baby Bus. Jiao 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 Jiao, Super Jiao Jiao Story Time. Mom, what's this? Hmm, that is a match. People used these to light fires long ago. Look. Wow, it's all lit up. Yes, but fire is very dangerous. Little children shouldn't play with fire. Let me read you a story about matches. It's called the Little Match Girl. Oh. The little match girl. One Christmas night, it was snowing, and it was extremely cold. A little barefoot girl, wearing thin, torn clothes, was walking down the street. <sighs> Mom, why doesn't the little girl wear shoes? The little girl had actually been wearing a pair of her father's torn leather shoes, but as she was walking, a carriage suddenly rushed out onto the road. The little girl ran in fear to avoid the carriage. Ah! <laughs> but the shoes were too big. And she lost them while she was running. Poor little girl, I'll give her my shoes. <laughs> Thank you, Jojo. In the little girl's pockets were many boxes of matches. As she walked, she called out, "Matches for sale! Matches for sale!" She had been walking the whole day, but she didn't sell a single match. Little girl, why don't you go home quickly? She couldn't. She didn't dare go home because she hadn't sold any matches. But she was very cold. <sighs> Her legs were already frozen, and she couldn't walk anymore. So, she leaned against a corner of a wall and sat down. She used her little hands to rub her red, frozen feet. Poor little girl, go and find a big fireplace as quickly as you can. There wasn't a big fireplace, so the little girl thought about lighting a match to warm her hands. She lit a match. Poof! A little flame popped out. The little girl stared at the bright, warm little flame, and imagined a fireplace with a roaring fire. <gasps> Wow! Wow! A warm fireplace! The little girl stretched out her frozen feet, but the fire went out suddenly. The fireplace also disappeared. In front of her was the street with heavy falling snow. What? Oh no! Oh, no more fireplace! That's right. The little girl was too cold, and she longed for a fireplace so much that she imagined it. She struck another match. Poof! A flame appeared again. In the light, the little girl saw a big dining table, covered with delicious food. Wow! A delicious turkey jumped from the plate and wobbled towards her. Big pieces of bread marched toward her like soldiers, all in a row. Wow, that's so amazing! Turkey and bread walking. <laughs> <laughs>
That's right. All these things came from the little girl's imagination. She was so hungry, she began drooling. She stretched out her hands to grab the turkey. Puff! A gust of cold wind blew, and the flame went out. The light disappeared. Ah! <sighs> Boo hoo! Turkey, come back! To make the turkey come back, the little girl lit another match. Poof! This time, she saw a Christmas tree with lots of presents under it. What? Wow! Wow! I love Christmas presents! <laughs> the little girl loved Christmas presents too. But when she stretched out her hands towards the presents, the match went out again. <sighs> oh, everything disappeared again. Yes, when the match went out, the images disappeared too. The little girl was very sad, so she lit a bunch of matches all at once. This time, the matches gave off a very bright, warm light. In this light, she saw her most beloved grandmother. <laughs> oh. Grandma! I love Grandma, too! The little girl shouted excitedly, Grandma, I, take me with you! Her grandmother stretched out her arms and held the little girl in them. In the light of the match, they flew away. Mom, where are they going? They flew higher and higher, farther and farther away, going to a world where there was neither cold nor hunger. Are they spending Christmas together? <laughs> yes. They had gone to another world to live a new life. <laughs> oh, goodbye and good night, little match girl. <laughs> <laughs>